Hi guys, um, I've created another video that uh, is going to be the first video in a series of videos. So this one I've already named it uh, Introduction to C Programming where this is uh, my outlook. Uh, I'll add another video to just show you how to go about creating C videos uh, or C projects and some of the things that we need to learn. I'd also opted to actually create a notes text file that I'll also add to the lesson resources at the end of each lecture. So um, here's what we've got. Uh, we've got this platform here uh, that we call uh, the development environment and uh, we'll just learn as we go. So pretty much this is what we've got in our code and I'll try and explain line by line at this particular point whereby we're saying this is a header file Uh, and its full name is standard input and output. Uh, the next one is standard libraries. Uh, this is a function called main. Uh, this is a function called printf and this is a return type like that so let's get into some code uh, to get some code going we need to do a couple of things uh, the first thing that we can do is this is already code that runs. So if I click on build and run, which is right there, gives me hello world, uh, it gives me process return zero, which is our return zero that we've got there, and that gives me a hexadecimal figure and the number of seconds it took to get this done. Okay, so we want to actually create our own code. So we'll remove this and start from scratch. Um, <clears throat> so to begin with, we need um, variables. So our variables can be as follows: int x character y. These become our variables, and uh, we would need to see what each of these variables are. So that's the first layer. We can actually have comments as well that tells us what this does. These are declarations of a variable. From there, we then want to see what these are. So display contents of the variables. Okay, so to do that we need a printf like we'd seen before and uh, we'd want to have uh, the following x equals we put a format specifier percentage d and y equals we put another format specifier we put percentage c we put a new line put a comma and then we call the variables x and y so x comma y that's how we call our variables if we run our program we then get to see the following so for x we get 16 for y we get a blank space because it's still a character but 16 is an integer so we're saying int represents our numbers y represents our characters so that's the first concept that we will work with. From there, we then want to be able to add the following. We want to be able to initialize. Our variables. And to do that, we need to simply use the equal sign. 
So we can say x is equal to 5, and then we can also say y is equal to uh, single quotes g, semicolon. So after each and every line, you notice we're putting a semicolon, and the semicolon denotes where the line ends. Although in this particular case, we can actually have two lines in one line. So we know where each line ends with the semicolon. At the same time, we can copy this code as it is. We paste it on the, on the next line. We can be able to then view what each value is. So if we run it now, we we'll then get to be able to see that uh, at the first instance, x was equal to 16 and y was nothing. Uh, the second instance, we've got x is equal to 5 and y is equal to g, right? So this then simply means we've modified our content. We can also add a printf for each of these values so that we can denote what each does. Variables before initialization. And then we put a new line. We can also put another printf that says the following printf variables after initialization. Like that. This then means that if we run the program now, we'll be able to see before initialization and after initialization. Um, at the same time, we want to then also add different types of variables, right? So to declare variables, we can also add more variable types, right? So the next few variables would then want to be able to denote certain things. So, for example, we want a float, um, which can be I. We want a double, which can be J. We want a... Yeah, I think we can work with those. We can definitely work with those. So, I and J become our variables. So now that we know that we need to initialize them, we can also initialize i and j as we declare them. So for example, I can say i is equal to 3.4456 and we can also say j is equal to 13.6723 like that. We can then also view these variables in the same manner as we have done with others. So for example, I can say printf, and in my printf, I can say the following. Uh, I is equal to percentage f, and j is equal to percentage f again, which then gives us these values. We also still need to put um, i and j outside of uh, our quotations. So if we run our project now, we'll be able to see the following. We've got our i being 3.44500 and our j being 13.67200. That's pretty much um, how our variables work. Although as we, as we proceed, we can then be able to modify some of these concepts because these are what we then refer to as primary uh, data types. So from primary, we'll then get into secondary data types, which will have a specific uh, way of actually handling each and every one of those 
data types or those variables or those things that we would want to be able to work with. So as the beginning of the course or as the beginning of this, we can actually work with this and end our lesson.